last your life? How rewarding was it? Do you feel as though it was a catharsis that you kind of needed to cleanse away the bad feeling or some of the things that happened to you in the aftermath of that first fight with Manny? Yeah, uh, like I said, I was in a bad point, bad, bad spot. And last year, I felt, going into Bonnie Ball fight, I felt that I had to do something to, to rekindle our relationship with the public and just with boxing. And uh, I had to, I really wanted to show, you know, how tough I was and how uh, I was a champion, you know, because a lot of people like, you're a fake champion, you're not a champion. I mean, a lot, a lot of crazy things was, was being sent to my home and just, it's bad. It was just horrible, man. Yeah, I, I had a couple of, couple of, I got a mail, mail. Yeah, death yeah. threats. Death threats. You know, uh, phone calls. Just like letters, like you didn't win this fight, get the belt back. Uh, phone calls. You know, um, yeah, just crazy things. Yeah, yeah. Death threats. 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 Yeah, yeah. That people do, man. Tim, and, uh, were you angry at the sport, your managers, your promoters? Or were you angry at everybody? Was there some party that was disgruntled at everything related I, to the boxing business? I think it was everything, man. There was a point after the fight, I was just like, man, like, all I did was get in there and fight my fight. And I'm getting all of this. I'm getting ridiculed, disrespected. I'm being demonized. Uh, it was uh, a horrible point. And it was just, it wasn't, I didn't feel it was right, man. I just didn't feel it was right. After the Provo Nakoff fight, what little you can remember, did you say to yourself, wow, is this really worth it? It was it was worth it. I needed I needed a fight like that. I mean it's, it's fight of the year, uh, it's gonna be in history. Um, I needed that fight. I needed to fight like that. To gain respect from the fans.